Hi, my name is Miguel Angel and I'm going to show you how to create a closed kinematics robot in Gazebo. So the first thing is that I've used this ROS developmental studio created by the construct. So you to use it, just go to this web page and sign in and you can get inside and you you'll get something like this. So you have the, the Gazebo Simulator up and running and the web shell and an, an ID. So the first thing we are going to do is we go to the we create a package through the web shell here we create a package in this case I've created two one that has all the launch files to spawn my robots and my models and so on and then I have another one that has the, the S SDF files. So in the first, this spawn robots, I've done a launch file that essentially what it does is you give it an SDF file with a robot name and it spawns that in the world through loading it through the robot description. That's it. Nothing very fancy. So going to the SDF files, I'm going to show you first the open chain one, which allowed me to create it in, in a simple way, because one of the most difficult parts of doing this is getting the positions, the, the starting positions and the joints right. So I recommend you that first you do an open one to see that all the joints are where they should, and then position the model so that it's easier to get the closed loop. So this one is the open chain. This one has four links that are called right pad one, two, and three. And they are joined through this joints, connected to through this joints that are revolute and revolute around the, the Y axis. So you have four of them and they have colors so that you can distinguish them better. So red, blue, so red, green, blue, and yellow in this order. So if we spawn it, you'll get something like this. So you have a, an open chain like that articulated in here. nothing special about that so what we are going to do is close so connect this yellow one to this red one and you get something let me see like this so you get this this closed box that by gravity it just folds but you see, it's a closed kinematic chain. So how do you do that? It's super simple. So the only difference between the open one and the closed one is that this is the position, how I position the links. It's the only thing. That and the fact that I connect it through a joint. So we go to this closed chain one. We select the syntax highlight here. And you see, if we are going to close this stuff. So if we compare it, it's very, very similar. The only thing is that, for example, this second link, you see that has a position, a pose totally different. That's because I have to position it so that it it makes this box this box shape otherwise you won't be able to connect it that's the most difficult part of creating this and it's just trial and error or doing your calculations correctly this is one thing so you if you see for example this one in the the open one it was just 1.5 because the, the planks are one, one meter long and then the center would be in 
1.5. In the close one, you see that it's totally different. It's just that you position it different and you give it a different orientation. That's it. But the, the connections are exactly the same as you can see because it's reference to the child. So it, it doesn't matter really where it is or how it's positioned. And the, the most critical stuff that you can't do in URDF is giving it this joint which connects the last pad with the first one. You see? And that what that's what is creating this closed loop. It's basically that. And then I I want to show you in if you have a client for gazebo, you can see here we have this let me do it There we go, better. So you have the links, you have the reference frames, and you also have this joints. This is very useful to see if you're doing it correctly. So if we put it again in wireframe, you can see them very clearly that you have, you have this red box connected, and here you have the joint, then here, and here, and here. Yeah. And an extra thing that you can do is okay, I I have this model and to see if it moves correctly you can apply some some forces. So uh, I select mine here and I give it for example 10 thousand let me see if it's correct the orientation no it's the other way around that's because i'm actuating here in this joint the the right pad so this green one i'm actuating here so in this case it's trying to close it more so i just i have to change the sign apply and there you have it. The cl the box tries to open. So if I apply the torque again, there you have it. If I apply it two times, there you go. It turns around. And now is the other way around. So to turn it again, let me position this here. Yeah. So now if I try to apply this, now I'm trying to close it. Yeah, but as, as you can see, you would only need one actuator to move this entire structure. There we go. Yeah, and that's it. So the only drawback of this model is that you, you can't use um, the traditional transmissions that you normally use in URDF to move your model. So you'll have to do your own plugin to move the the robot but apart from that this is a very good example and that's quite it thank you and see you see you soon